Welcome everyone, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, this is one of my favorite parades of the year. And uh, let me welcome all our labor leaders who are here. We have Mario Salento, who you'll hear from in a moment. Senator Diane Savino is here. Gary LaBarbera is here. Uh, Chris Erickson is here. Pat Dolan is here. Our Labor Commissioner, Roberta Reardon, is here. Uh, virtually all the top labor leaders in the state of New York. We have a beautiful day for it, and it's a day to remember what New York State means and what New York State means with the labor movement. New York State has always been the progressive leader in the nation, especially when it comes to the rights of workers and working with organized labor. You look at the history of New York, you look at what Al Smith did, Robert Wagner did, FDR did, Francis Perkins did. All those great labor initiatives started here in New York State, and then they went national. Uh, my father, as governor for 12 years, was uh, fully aligned with the labor movement and proud of it. And we have carried forth that legacy, and we've done it at a very difficult time in this nation. And we have passed some of the most progressive, pro-worker, pro-labor, pro-middle class initiatives and reforms in the United States, period. We were the first state. We were the first state to work with the labor movement to pass a $15 minimum wage that changed lives across the board. We passed the best paid family leave program in the United States of America. We did that right here in New York. When the federal government attacked the public sector unions, we passed protections after the Janus decisions. This state stepped up and protected farm workers who were abused for decades, and it was this state that did it. It is this state that protects workers' rights to organize because that's the basis of the labor movement. We were the first state to pass, pass the best free college program for working class families in this state so they know their child can go to college and that is the key to the future. We passed a middle class tax cut. We do projects with project labor agreements that get the best deal for the taxpayer and protect the unions. And what we've shown is that we can protect workers, advance workers, and grow the economy. This has been a false choice that Washington offers, that if you do these pro-worker reforms, you're going to slow the economy. No, no, no. We did all of this, and we grew the economy in leaps and bounds. An economy that works for the worker is the strongest economy, and that's what we showed here in New York. We passed all these firsts. We've done more for the worker than ever before, more for our organized labor than ever before, and we have the strongest economy in the history of the state of New York. When we started, Unemployment was over 8%. Today, unemployment is 4%. Today, New York State has more private sector jobs than ever in the history of the state of New York, period. So don't tell me that we can't protect workers and advance workers and grow the economy. The New York economy works for everyone, and that's the way it's supposed to be. We are also going to announce today 
that when we do the state of the state, and I put forth my budget priorities, at the top of the list is going to be an initiative to make the Buy America initiative a permanent law in the state of New York. What Buy America has shown and what Buy America says is the steel that we buy, the concrete that we buy, the iron we buy must be American made. That does two things. Number one, it protects American jobs and it grows New York jobs. Manufacturing is now 5% of the New York economy. And it makes sure that we have the best quality steel and concrete and iron going into our infrastructure projects. We are building more than any state in the United States of America. No state is building what we are building here, over $250 billion in infrastructure. And we want to make sure that these projects last 100 years. And to do that, you have to know that that steel, that concrete, that iron is top quality material. And you only know that if that is made right here in the good old USA, and that's what we're doing. What we have shown is that the best coalition and the best government is one that locks arms with organized labor. I was elected because of organized labor. I believe in organized labor and I will lead the way forward with organized labor, arm in arm, every step of the way. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Mario Salento. Thank you. First, let me just say this and make it very clear. The organized labor movement in this country and working men and women in this country have no greater champion for their cause than Andrew Cuomo. I can say that as sure as I am standing here now, and I can tell you why, because we have a lot of elected officials in this country, a lot of them, most of them in Washington, who say a lot of things, and they have a lot of pithy comments, and they'll talk about, make America great again, America first. Those are words. That is not leadership. Leadership is done through deed and by action. So when you see a $15 minimum wage, or paid family leave, or legislation to mitigate the damage from the Janus decision, or today to, to put forward a, an initiative to make Buy American permanent, that is leadership in the truest sense of the word. And Governor, we thank you collectively right. for that. <clears throat> you know, the reality is this, that Making Buy America permanent is not only good for our manufacturers, it's not only American manufacturers, it's not only helpful for all working men and women, but this is a boon to our tax base throughout the state, and in fact to all of our small businesses. Because the reality is this, when we create jobs that otherwise would not exist, those working men and women now pay income tax on their earnings. That money goes right back into the local tax base that allows us to pay for all of our public services that we rely on, our health care, our education, our transportation, our law enforcement, our firefighters, and it keeps our public sector working men and women growing and working every single day. And then when you have a job that you otherwise would not have, you obviously put that money back into your local economy. You can go to the local barber shop, the hardware store, maybe take your family to dinner and a movie. So our small business community wins as well. That's why this is not only about organized labor today. We're at the forefront of it, working with the governor. But this is a great day for all New Yorkers and citizens and taxpayers of this state. That's what today is all about, because that is the labor movement. We are in and of this society. And we look forward to continuing to lead the way. And the only way we're able to fight back and level the playing field against the conservative forces who want to defeat and silence us is to work with elected public officials who share our values and our principles and our ideals, and that is Andrew Cuomo, and we thank him again for that. Right. And 
now we look forward to walking up Fifth Avenue and showing that when this labor movement is strong and vibrant and successful, there is nothing we cannot accomplish. And we look forward to doing that together. Thank you very much. Well said, Mario Salanto.